Welcome to another di- edition of Under the Bus, where us three old guys who've been on a few buses talk about the virtues of sport, but also <laughs> throw a whole lot of people under the bus. And man, we got room under that bus yeah. this week, huh? Can't wait. <laughs> Bob Stevens from ESPN Sports Center's Golden Days, Curry Kirkpatrick of Sports Illustrated's Golden Days. In fact, he was the golden days in a while because he was really the golden boy uh, <laughs> at, at SI back then. Uh, and, and then, of course, Hall of Fame coach Rich Basirico from Basketball's Golden Days. We'll get to the NFL because they keep adding, signing people while we speak. Correct. I mean, what we're going to say is going to be outdated in, in no time at all. <laughs> First, though, let's, let's talk hoops because you guys, it's March. You guys are into the madness. Uh, Selection Sunday is coming oh, up. Uh, uh, and, and Duke and Carolina, are they going to play a third time? Are we going to have that much more drama before uh, they finally split them up and send them to different regions because they want them to come back and play in the final Well, four? there's always drama with Duke and North Carolina. Oh, Curry can tell you a hundred stories about that. It's Tell us this one. Tell Curry. us the latest one. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, they had, uh, you know, uh, Kyle Tripkowski, we now call him. <laughs> Tripkowski. Uh, that, that created the, the drama last uh, last Sunday. You know, one of the one of the teams always gets beats, it seems, in the in the ACC tournament. Though I'm not sure they're going to play again, uh, you know, next next Saturday. But um, I don't know what you thought about the about the trip. I thought it was a, a blatant trip, and and I don't know why. There's been so many, you know, the the uh, social network went uh, social media went crazy on 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 when when Tripkowski tripped my boy Ingram, and. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, they both, uh, the, the, the funny part, they asked Ingram about it, and he said, well, I'm not sure what happened. I have to look at the tape. But then he said, he asked the ref as they went down the court, who's uh, TV Teddy Valentine, he asked yeah. TV Teddy, uh, <laughs> did you see that? You know, and, and Teddy said, no, I didn't see it. And Ingram said, he asked the ref, well, are you watching the game? <laughs> I mean, oh but in- Ingram is such a sweet, nice guy that he does, th- you know, he doesn't show up the ref, yeah. but what a great line he has. <laughs> that is a great line. And then, yeah. of course, at the end of the game, though, uh, uh, the Duke coach uh, apologizes again. Well, do they have to apologize after every Well, loss? I mean, it, he's the chip off the old rat. I okay. mean, he's baby rat. <laughs> rat did the same thing when we retired him two years ago at, you know, Duke Indoor Stadium. He came on, he had a big ceremony in, t- in front of the entire Duke history of basketball, and he apologized for losing. I mean, folks this is just one joining of the, the great... podcast uh, need to understand that's Coach K, uh, Coach Shifty, the winningest coach. Oh, in, oh is in that his name? Hoop history and all. all <laughs> is that, that his name? Anyway, yeah, right. Okay, all right. He, that, go ahead. he apologized. I mean, this is one of the great rivalries in sports, right? Yes, Do we yes. all agree that. Yes. yes. You don't apologize when you lose to your rival. I mean, can you imagine the Yankees and Red Sox? Mm-hmm. When, you know, when I'm losing right. the World Series and apolo- loses the playoffs and apologize. Well, he's not it giving just, credit. He's not giving credit to dimin- North Carolina it, at all. It diminishes yeah. right. the opponent. And Rat did it, and now Baby Rat did it this week. <laughs> so come on. Well, North Carolina outplayed them from Thank start you. of the game to the end of the game. Duke never led, correct? Duke never led never in led the game. game. North Carolina came, brought their A game. They played defense consistently. And Baycock, your boy, Played pretty good game. Yeah, he yeah. came to play. Well, how about how about Ryan? Hmm. Ryan, he's stroking it. Good, good Holy nice Christmas! Yeah, yeah. He, you know, Duke. Do, do you remember they they kept shooting to the crowd, the Duke crowd? There are two kids in the crowd, and they put their lips down. They had tattooed on their gums. Did you see right? they had no, tattooed I didn't see on their gums? I didn't see that. DDMF. That's a big thing about Duke. DDMF, which means Duke, Duke, mother. Mm-hmm. You can explain. That's what it means. Wow. And the camera kept shooting. Of course, they didn't explain what it meant. But when we had Brady they Manic, didn't have to. when we had Brady Manic a couple of years of a Carolina guy who destroyed Duke twice, final game, and then in the in the final four. Yep. He would run down the court after he'd make a big three and he'd go bang bang MF. <laughs> and that was in reply to the D D M F, which right, is, right, you know, what's okay. just another Duke story. Well, I don't know if Ryan could ever have another game like that. I mean, he was when you're talking about being hot. He was hot. Except, I mean, he, you know, he had 28 for Notre Dame a few years ago when he put. Oh, in, loves, at Duke, right. He loves Cameron yeah. Indoor Stadium. Yeah. Well, it's a great place to play. Yeah. It really is. Terrific. But, All right. But, yeah. Ahead of Selection Sunday, has anybody, has anybody locked up a one seed enough that, that you can say, okay, they're, we can pencil them into the final well, four? I, th- I think the teams that grow off the bat, Houston, 
uh, Purdue. But they're all beatable, aren't they? Oh, I mean, this year, without every, a doubt, without this year, a doubt. And, and, is everybody beatable? Well, Connecticut, I think, is a team to beat. I think we both think they're going to beat. beat. Yeah. I mean, they've got the best team, and yet here's Danny. Here's Danny Hurley. Yeah. He's he's like he's like a you can't take the jersey out of this guy. He's wants wants to fight guy. He wants to fight That's everybody. His New Jersey. He's got he's the New best Jersey team guy. in the country. You know, he went after the Providence fan last week. He wants to fight. They beat Providence by thirty. He says, "Come and get it. You want some of me?" I mean, Hurley is unbelievable. Let's talk about wanting to fight. Let's, let's talk about and the rematch that we want to see for that. LSU's women, South Carolina's wow. women. Uh, first of all, South Carolina, what an amazing. First of all, undefeated role. Mm -hmm. Save the undefeated season when your six seven post player moves out and hits a three. The only three of her career, Camila Cardosa. Uh, well, you said nobody was guarding her out there, and you nobody said, yeah, was. I saw them so wide yeah. open because no one. The worst coaching move all season. The Tennessee coach has. They're up by one uh -huh. with one point second. They're up by two. Okay, one point one second. And he, he doesn't guard the three Pat Summit well, spinning she, she somewhere. She send out somebody out there to you guard have that to. Girl. Of course you have to. What I mean. a choke. That's yeah. the under-the-bus worst coaching move of the season, don't you think? Yeah. It's, it's up there. It's oh, definitely but, up but, there. But you as a defensive coach, you be the Tennessee coach. She's never made a three-pointer. But if she, but if she's out there and there's only two seconds to go, she's not going to go down to the post and, right. and post. If she would have started there, you know, you would think that's uh -huh. they're going to try to kick it in there. But since she's out there, you got to at least step out and defend her. I couldn't believe how wide open she was. I get, I get it that she, she's never made a shot out there, but with, with two seconds to go, you got to, you got to defend. You know, the old, the old pet. No, nobody was when eighteen. ESPN made it. 18 feet <laughs> oh, was as close as anybody was to her. That's, you and play. she makes the shot. But so, then the next game. Right, and then the next, happens, yeah, well, yeah, and, and and I think that's going to be the next great coaching rivalry in all of college basketball. It's not going to be Geno and Pat Summit. Uh, it's going to be uh, the coach at South Carolina, right. Staley, and, Staley and, and, and Kim Mulkey, Kim Mulkey, Kim Mulkey. At, at LSU. I mean, Here's that, how old I am. Ooh. I did a story on Kim Mulkey when she was a player yeah. at Louisiana Tech. That makes me about 102. <laughs> but she is. I mean, she was sensational after the game, although a lot of people thought she was. Well, you did stories bad, on Don Staley when she played, probably too. I mean, of course, of absolutely. Course. Don Staley comes out after the game and said there was no uh, no enmity or whatever word yeah. she used in this big fight. There was no problem. It's not not real problem, uh, not real problem. The whose brother came out of the stands? <laughs> yeah. He's arrested. He went to jail for <laughs> beat, punching the cops. <laughs> <laughs> but but this game, you know, they're pulling hair, and I mean, it's great. Women's basketball is not well, great to me. You know why she came out Cardoso. to say that? Because it's a reflection of her. She's the coach, and she wants to put it, you know, put the fire out real quick. Because it is a reflection of her. When your players go on the floor like that, that's a reflection of, of you course. as a coach. So she had to put the fire out. On she that. tried to put it out, but Kim Mulkey wanted to start again. Of, right, Kim Mulkey will sure. fight right after. Kim Mulkey will but fight. He's, her. he's like the Danny Hurley of women, without basketball. question. <laughs> <laughs> but she said, <laughs> you know, you know, Cardozo six. Cardozo was six seven or yeah, something, and, yeah. and she went and she threw down the girl that was five ten. <laughs> right, and of course uh, LSU has Angel Reese, mm -hmm. the badass of all badasses on her team, who's about six five. And and Mulkey said after the game, I wish she'd have tried to push Angel <laughs> yeah. Reese. I mean, Mulkey says we want the other fight, <laughs> not be, that fight. Yeah, we yeah, want yeah, yeah, fight. yeah, want the other fight. And yeah. then she said, we, let the five ten girls go at it. Let them go. I mean, she wants two fights so they, rather than the other fight. Do they set them up to play in a regional final, or do they that try would, to set them up, fun. keep them apart far enough that they that it gets uh, to the final four? But then the problem, and then the winner plays lose, Caitlin Clark. But then they might lose to somebody along the way, so that's kind of dangerous. I, I'm not but, so sure those teams are beatable though. Man, on the they, women's side, there are still some teams that are sure. really well, hard South to Carolina's beat. the best team right oh, without a doubt. Yeah. 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 All right. Without a doubt. All right. Enough basketball for now. We're going to get back. We're going to throw out some football names that are going to be wearing weird jerseys next year and, and talk about if anybody got better or if we just shuffled all people <laughs> around as we come back under the bus. Welcome back under the bus, Curry Kirkpatrick and Rich Basirico, along with me, Bob Stevens. There were 40 signings and trades on the first day of what the NFL calls legal tampering. <laughs> legal tampering day. Yeah, yeah legal tampering day. <laughs> what is what legal tampering? 
anyway, yeah, well, they, they can't, can't officially really sign can't officially sign them until Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, and but uh, uh, Baker Mayfield's going to make a, a, a million oh. a year play, staying in Tampa. Uh, Atlanta got uh, their million dollar quarterback in uh, uh, Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins, and oh. Derek uh, Carr makes a million five in. Uh, New Orleans. In New Orleans. A hundred million. I'm he's sorry. A hundred million dollar deals. He's, this money, I don't even pay attention to the money. $300 million dollar deals in the same bad conf, bad division. I mean, right. none of those teams is going to win 10 games with hundred million dollar quarterbacks. Well, how about Russell Wilson goes to the Steelers for a one point? Two million. Yeah, for one point two because Denver's because, going to pay the thirty nine yeah. million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, Russell that's Wilson. A, that's a great deal for the Steelers. Russell Wilson is like free. Like, yeah, yeah, well, basically really like free. Denver, one point two million. Denver's free. paying his ten. But, but but let me. Let, I mean, if these guys shuffling around, try to keep track of this without a scorecard. I mean, you got uh, who's going to replace uh, Cousins in Minnesota? How about right now, Sam, Sam Darnold Dar- of all people? Ten million for one yeah. year. Wow. Uh, he was signed by the Vikings, who also got Aaron Jones away from the division rival Packers. You love to see that division rival stuff. The biggest right. division rival turnaround, though, was oh. your boy Saquon Barkley leaving the Giants for the Eagles. I know that's that's crazy. I Which, thought I thought he was going to leave. I really say, did. Say gone, Barkley. Say gone, Barkley. <laughs> Aren't you in mourning? I mean, uh, well, no, because I knew he was going to leave. I just didn't think he was going to go to the Eagles. I thought he was going to yeah. go to like uh, the Texans or San Diego, or, yeah. but the Eagles. Yeah. So uh, I, I just I didn't think that was going to happen. That's but like they tr- gave him a lot of money. They yeah. gave him all. It's all about money. All about money. You, what wait, about you? Used to write the headlines on the covers of Sports Illustrated too, right? Because you'd have Sagan would be the, that'd be a good one. That'd be that'd on the be cover. Well, that, I'm, was that on the cover of the Post, New York Post, or the I didn't Daily see that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the Post uh, this morning should've, would you be should've a should've good. Called them. Should have told them. Yeah, you you should have told them that. Russell Wilson to Pittsburgh does yeah. not sound right to me. I mean, you know, Russell's like a softy guy. He's like you know all these ads with his with he his is, wife Cr. Yeah. Pittsburgh is like blue collar, black and blue. It doesn't sound. It doesn't first fit. time he says yins, <laughs> the yeah. first time he starts talking in the dialect though, and he's smart enough to do that, he'll he'll be a hero. I mean, they'll, Sir, they'll, they'll you, you really think? I mean, it just uh, it doesn't seem like a fit. I mean, he, you know, he was. People thought he might go to Vegas and yeah. he might go to these other places. Yeah. What, what, I mean, where is Ciara going to perform the Andy Warhol Museum <laughs> in Pittsburgh? I mean, it just doesn't. She'll I don't fly know. Flood in New York you know, every week. What happens? What yeah, happens? I don't think she's moving to Pittsburgh. No, what, no. <laughs> I mean that marriage is in trouble. I think Russ, and you know, Russ is you know, d- Broncos, let's ride. You know, all that stuff. Was, he did at Denver. He was trying, and, and that and that seemed like that made sense. Everybody right. thought at the time that was a good move for Denver, and and now now it's an e- easy move for Pittsburgh because it, like I said, doesn't do cost lose? him anything. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. cost well, him what anything. if what if Russ doesn't beat out a uh, tiny hands picket? What if he doesn't beat him out? Or what if he? What so if then he you cut him loose, and you didn't lose a thing. Right. What if he does beat him out? And Pitts and he and Pittsburgh goes on a losing streak, and it's Tomlin's first losing season. What happens then? They ride. Uh, but they, Tomlin, they ride Tomlin's not going to have a losing no, season. I, yeah. Well, he's okay. Tomlin. What, he's, he's, yeah, but you know, he's Sean good. Payton was Sean Payton, and he what what the hell? He couldn't get along. Sean with Payton w- got suspended Russell for Wilson. a year too. Sean Payton. Sean Payton, Sean Payton didn't want Wilson there. He really no, didn't. no, he did. He jumped his case over and over. But, but again. I did he's not. A Wilson tough coach. coach. He Wilson's is a very tough coach. Mike Tomlin's a tough coach. Yeah. You think yeah. Wilson can deal with that, Russell? Well, he better. Know. He'll be all right. Know. He'll be all right. But if he doesn't make it there, I don't know where he's going to where he's going to make it. Other running backs moving all over the place. The Bengals let go of Joe Mixon, Not and surprised. instead they signed Zach Moss. Right. Um, Singletary went to your Giants. Singletary went to the Giants. Yeah, and yeah. that's a guy that Dayball had in uh, in in Buff. Did Dave all have him in Buffalo? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So okay. he knows him. He likes Correct. him, right? That's and he right. was good at the end of the season he for, was for the, the Texans. The yeah. Josh yeah. Jacobs, who uh, went to Green Bay, went to Green Bay to replace Bay. Aaron Jones. That's a great move. For uh, that could be a good move. Tony Pollard leaves the Cowboys. Tony. America's team loses yeah. somebody to Tennessee. Tony Pollard's a dog. <laughs> Who's, who, Derek where, Henry's got to go someplace. When, where Derek Henry lands, yeah. that's where the Super Bowl might go. Ooh. I'm serious. He's People go. are talking about him going to the Ravens. That's right. Are you kidding me? That could be. If he goes to Baltimore, if he goes to Baltimore, that's that's pretty stout. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, I love this. I mean, well, he's a Hall of Fame guy. He's a Hall right? of Fame guy, but he's going to be 30. He's been hurt. 
Well, well Russell Wilson's going to be 47. I know, but, but, <laughs> ru- but running backs, they say once you hit 30. Why yeah, that know, is a I magical know. number, I have no idea. You get 30, you can't well, run anymore? I, I don't get but it. But it seems to be a fairly – I mean, it seems to work. It's right. one of those you know weird cliches that actually – Seems to play Speaking out. Speaking of fights, yeah. how about your Giants? How about Tiki Barber? Oh, Tiki Ooh, Barber's yeah. the man. Go, go, going after Sagan. You can, he said, you're, de- you're dead to us. Yeah, yeah. You're dead right. to us. And now, did you see what Sagan yeah, said, I said back? Yeah, he came back, yeah. He said, you, were, you hated me from the beginning. That's right. Well, this is great. And then he said, don't smile at me next time yeah, you see me. You're always stuff. smiling at me when you see me it, in person. It, it, this is great yeah, stuff yeah. with the Giants. Well, see, I yeah, I'm glad he came back at him. What, what is Tiki saying? What, get, get out of here. Look, he's got more money with Philly. Got, Speaking of who's going to play quarterback for the Giants? Daniel Jones. That's who Seriously. it should be. I know they they, they don't need to draft a quarterback. They want to draft what, McCarthy well, what from, Mich- from Michigan. Skills? Right, right, right. Well, about- no one's talked about him until right. he won the national championship game. So he goes from a good quarterback, and now he's one of the best because he had a, they won a national championship. Yeah. Where were you scouts all through his 11 games prior to him winning the – or the 12 games prior to him winning his championship in the 13th game? Where were you then? Now all of a sudden they go to the combine because their hands are big and because they can jump high <laughs> well, uh, and they can do the shuttle drill. So what are the Giants going to do? Are they going to go back to Frankie what? Skillets or whatever his name is? <laughs> Frankie <laughs> Skillets. The, the guy, the chicken The guy. paisan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't even remember his name. Frank, like something. Frankie Cutlet. What, what's Cutlet. his real name, though? The veto, right? The veto. You, know, yeah, you don't yeah. even remember. See, his, <laughs> his, his, his window. His it's, window. He's still so confused because Danny DeVito and window. Schwarzenegger were on the Oscars together. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's all that's confused. Now. <laughs> and they says Batman's in the audience. Where does Josh Fields end up? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, I, maybe the asking price is too much, and that's why no one will trade for him. I think he's a good quarterback. He brings. He can actually isn't his name Justin. Justin Fields. I mean, we there don't even know these Fields, names anymore. Yeah. We don't even know these names. Who, Justin who Fields, Josh Fields, the baseball player. I'm thinking anyway. You're thinking ahead. of Josh Gibson, or maybe <laughs> no, Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson. Or Mel Gibson. <laughs> I tell you what, anyone I, you could draft Bob said, Gibson and you'd have a player. <laughs> some some hater some hater went online and said that Caitlin Clark look 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 looked like Mel Gibson. That was not. That was oh, not very nice. nice. It sounds like talk, something. Talk I about Bob say. Gibson. Did you see that the um, Savannah Bananas? Roger Clemens pitched for him. We're going to talk about 61 that. Sixty-one years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk Savannah about Bananas. that when we when we come back. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back and wrap things up, and uh, we're going to throw somebody under the bus, and it might be Roger Clemens when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Under the Bus. Curry Kirkpatrick, Rich Basirico, and me, Bob Stevens. We're going to catch up on some other little nuggets that are uh, that are worth talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm glancing at the sports page, and I see that Djokovic, is is this it? Is this the, the beginning of the end? He lose to, loses to nu- Luca Nardi. He loses in, in Palm Indian Springs. Wells. Yeah, 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 in, yeah. In, in, in Indian Wells. I thought I knew most of the tennis players. I never heard of this guy. Because he's Italian. I don't even know what Luca Nardi. Play tennis. He sounds like out of, right out of the Sopranos. Where? <laughs> I don't know anything about him. I hope he's from Italy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> what a great. <laughs> so we got no names beating the the superstars in tennis. We got in golf, Scotty Scheffler. He found a new should, putter. Who should be using right. a Scotty Cameron putter, but he's not. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he changed true. to something else. That's made terrible. everything on the weekend. Wins the Arnold Palmer for the second straight year, and now they're in. Uh, they're playing their fifth major this this week. And he's a defending the champion. And he's there, the defending right? champ. And even Ooh. even even his competitors say that you know he's not a, a good putter. If he if he ever learns how to putt, he's going to win everything. And and that could indeed Scotty happen Sheffield. this week yeah, or, yeah. or 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 well, any Bob, week. Bob, do you think they forward. win two weeks in a row? Do you think that's they, tough. I I, 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 that's I, why I don't so think. Emotional. I mean, I I would always take the field. Right. Even against Tiger, when yeah. Tiger was great, you could still win by betting the field. Yeah. But can I yeah. uh, can you I throw, get your odds weren't as good? Can yeah, I throw somebody under the Can I throw a hole under the bus? Absolutely. Sixth hole at Bay Hill last week. My boy Tommy Fleetwood from Great Britain goes in there. And he's on Friday, 
he fires a 10. Yep. A 10 on the par, yep. Yep. what is it, a par 3, right? Uh, no, it's, it's par 5, a, it's but it goes around, around the water, it. but but the guys think the they ten, can carry it. Yeah. The 10, they call ten. him 10 ten, ten Cup, they call ten him. Cup. <laughs> and, then, and then the kid uh, who'd won in Mexico, Jake Knapp, yeah. he goes in there on Saturday yeah. and fires a 12. Yeah. He hit his first two in the in the water tee. Then he goes OB, yeah. so he's hitting now seven or something. He, yeah. he almost hit two more in the water, or he would have hit 15. <laughs> and yet the record of that hole is John, John Daly, 18. Who, and he really did 10 count. He just kept – he just a, hand me another one. On he had an 18 on that he hole. He had an 18 on the hole. I, I think that, that was about when he was done, but well, he I think, could still hit it a long way. I think that signified how many Budweiser he had on the hole. <laughs> well, that, that's <laughs> also why he sells T-shirts yeah. at the Masters. You know, he has a truck in the parking lot. And he yeah, sells T-shirts. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you know, they wouldn't like. Him. They don't want him making 18 there. <laughs> if he'd have ever won <laughs> one of those, you know, he can still play in the British Open because he won it. Uh, he can, yeah. The PGA, I, yeah, I think he still he can still play there because he won it. Uh-huh. Uh, boy, the guys at Augusta have got to be oh. a big sigh of relief that he never won at Augusta because they'd be having to still, invite him back. Does he park his truck there? Yeah, yeah. in the parking lot. He sells t-shirts. We don't let him in the parking lot. It's a parking lot across the street. They don't let him across. No, they won't let him on the ground. He sells t-shirts out of it. Hey, anybody else you guys want to throw under the bus? You threw a hole under the bus. You got somebody you want to throw under the bus? Well, we already talked about Tiki Barber throwing Barkley under the bus. I mean, that was, they both threw each other under the bus. So, only thing I would say is, you know, I've been watching college basketball and I just, you know, watched Kentucky the other day and they had a nice lead over Tennessee and they, they turned the ball over three, sec, three consecutive times in 36 seconds. Calipari doesn't make any adjustments whatsoever. As you know, I'm not a big fan of his. I mean, it was, it was awful. And they won. Make, they ended up winning. Th- does Patino they, make the they tournament? Pretty much, yeah, you, pretty you, much you almost came on. Both of those coaches in that game. So that game was was under the bus for you. <laughs> well, I don't Rick, hate Rick him. Barnes against John Calvary. <laughs> both of them have won over 800 games. Right. One's in the Hall of Fame. One's going in the Hall of Fame next week. <laughs> and you're all over. <laughs> what you're can just I say? A, such a hater. All right, let me bring up Townsend. Okay. Townsend last night playing the College of Charleston. You were outscored oh, 13 to one in the last four minutes. Oh, and the guy makes. No adjustments, zero. They just they just fall apart. I mean, it's it's hard to so watch. So you're throwing the Towson coach under. Yeah, I was yelling at the TV. My wife's getting mad at me. You know, what, she, what do you care about? That? I got to name I got to name her now. We we talked about the Tennessee coach who didn't yeah. guard the girl that yeah, didn't guard yeah, yeah, the yeah. South Carolina girl. Her name's Kelly Harper. Yeah. So Kelly. Under the bus. Under the bus. Even though you're a Tennessee, I think she's an alum. I think she played for Pat oh, she Summit. Played. And like, Pat she played. And Pat Summit won, would have her running, uh, would have would have sure. her successor running the stairs. I think she won three championships as a player there. Yeah, she's there not, going, go. not going to win by not, not guarding win. a girl from 18 not, feet Not going to do that. We're out of time. We, I would like to throw the people who made the Kobe statue under the bus. We're going to have to oh. save that for next week. <laughs> Thanks so much to Trey and Mahogany and the crew at UC, USC Buford and our producer, Justin Jarrett. For Rich Basirico and Curry Kirkpatrick, thanks for joining us under the bus. Thank you.